Welcome to MonroeMotors.com. Today we're going back in time with a 1942 Fargo pickup truck. This one is painted in red with the black fenders and black interior. It's fully restored back to original condition and it looks beautiful. We'll start here at the rear of the vehicle. Here's your tailgate. It says Fargo on the back and that is painted on. That's not decal, so that's pretty cool. Let's come into the bed. You can see it's got a full hardwood oak bed with a nice stainless uh, strips along there. We got nicely painted uh, bedsides. Uh, the back of the cab looks wonderful. And you can see they used all nice hardware there. That's stainless hardware. I do want to point out there is a little blemish right there. It's kind of a spider web there. And there's one more on this side of the bed here. Um, right here where my finger is. Hardly noticeable, uh, but it is there. Coming to the back here, you can see all the hardware is nice, the lights and everything. Uh, it's got a nice silver painted bumper. Let's take a look underneath the truck now. You can see it's all original underneath. You got that nice wood bed there. The axle's nice. Um, you can see the fuel tank there, the exhaust system. All looks wonderful. There's your drum brakes. We'll make our way to the uh, the wheels of the truck now. So you can see it has the uh, steel wheels with the chrome Fargo hubcaps. Um, it's a six and a half inch by 16 inch rim. Uh, and they are Firestone bias ply tires that look like the originals uh, with a wide white wall. So really cool looking wheel. Come to the front now. You can see it's got the same size wheel on the front as well. That's kind of how they came back in the day. Um, I will point out the hubcap, the chrome hubcaps do have a little bit of um, age to them, um, but that's probably because you can't buy them brand new. So uh, let's take a look underneath the, the side of the truck here. You can see it looks nice, and very sanitary under here. There's your transmission and engine, all your suspension components, nice tires there. And let's come to the interior of the truck. So here's your door panel here. You got the black, uh, kind of like a cardboard material here. That's how they were back then. Uh, here's your door handle, they work nice. And then your, your door uh, window cranks. So let's put that down. You can see they cr crank nice here, up and down. Has a slight window tint to it too, which is nice. It's not very noticeable, but it is there. It helps keep the heat out of the truck. And the back window there as well. Um, the whole cab looks like it's done with that material, kind of insulate it a little bit and make it look, look a little more tidy. Here's your dash. Wonderful dash is painted as well. Open that glove box. You can see it's got a nice deep glove box. Put my hand in there so you can see it goes pretty far. Uh, your heater box there, and then here's your uh, door jams. They look great. Uh, nice uh, floor liner there. And then we'll check out the seat here. So a nice vinyl bench. Looks like brand new. And I'll show you underneath the doors here. They look great as well. And let's close that door. Close nice. Here's your uh, running boards. They're painted. Now you will see a little bit of uh, just kind of scratches from that. Uh, that's that's kind of typical in these old trucks. Um, we are, haven't polished this truck yet, and we will, so it'll look much better. So it won't be perfect, but it will be not a lot better as well. Here's your cab corners. They look great. And your fenders. Gotta love that style of the 40s fenders. They look great, nice and shiny. There is one little scratch here as well. There's your headlights. Beautiful design right on the fender. Nice big headlights. They look great. So the black fenders with the red grill here. You can see it says Fargo right there. The, the trim, the stainless trim looks great as well. Here's your uh, emblem. Look at that, the world. The world is in your hands with the wings there. Beautiful design. And again, this, the silver bumper there that's painted. Let's come to the engine bay. 
So this is a 201 cubic inch motor. It's an inline six with the L head design. It produces about 82 horsepower, which was quite a bit back in the day. So that's cool that we got a nice stripping here, kind of original. And let's go ahead and I'll show you the hood here from this angle. It's kind of got the butterfly effect hood openings. And let's uh, close this. So it's got the arm there and it flips down. I'm just gonna be careful here. I'm not gonna put it all the way through just because I have one hand and I don't wanna throw you guys all over the ceiling with the camera. We'll make our way over here so you can see the engine bay. Look, it's nice and original. We got horns up here. It's very nice. We'll put this side down now. Let's make our way back to the hood of the truck so you can see the hood when it looks like pretty much closed. Paint is pretty nice on this truck. There's your windows that look great. One windshield wiper, that's common back then. Mirrors are on the side here. Let's come down to the front wheel here. Looks great. And again, that cap here. I would say that this, probably, this cap is in probably the worst condition of all four. Uh, but still very presentable. And let's show you underneath um, on the front here. I just wanna show you, cause it's so beautiful. I do, well, when I was down there, I did see a little mark there as well in the bumper there, but that's very low down. I, I never seen that one before until I went underneath the truck. And very nice and tidy here. There's your fuel tank. Wow. Beautiful. Cab corners look great. There's your box, your gas cap there. Here's your door frame underneath there. It's nice and solid, nicely painted. This window is down. I'll put this one up. And let's check out the door jams here. There's your VIN plate here for the truck. Very nice, I'll show you the condition of the seat here. You can see it looks like brand new. And here's all your pedals. There's a lot going on here. So down here, you got your high beam switch. Here's your clutch, brake, gas pedal. Uh, that's your foot starter, uh, your transmission right here. Along, and then we got the e-brake over here. All right, let's hop in the truck. All right, I'm gonna start the truck. Put the clutch in first, put it in neutral. Here's your headlight switch, here's your choke uh, key. We'll turn that, and I'm gonna put a little bit of throttle out and let's see if it starts. Push this, uh... look at that, it started no problem. So that was uh, your foot starter there. So you can control your throttle here. I'm gonna turn on the headlights while we're in here. And check out this steering wheel. So nice, beautiful steering wheel. I don't see any cracks in it. Uh, coming up here, you got your gauges, so you got your heat gauge, your oil pressure, uh, sorry, oil temperature, uh, fuel gauge there, amperage, and the speedometer. Uh, the speedometer is not working. You can see the arms out there, and it's still zero mileage. We do have brand new gauges for this vehicle, which I'll show you. Uh, if you wanted to switch all that, they do fit in there as well. And then we got your turn signals here, look great. Up here, your windshield wiper, see that works there. A knob there, a small review mirror here, and then I'll turn this dial here. Oop. Oh, that opens up the actual windshield so you can get some air through there. So, very cool. Uh, I'm just gonna check here. Put that throttle in, and let's roll up this window so you can see it looks that goes nice up here. And we'll open the door here. Let's climb out of the truck now. I love the sound of the little old truck doors closing. Let's make our way to the back here. You can hear this thing just burning. Headlights are on. Look at that beautiful truck. If you open a car show with this thing, a lot of people are coming to and have a lot of attention. People are going to come and say, I, my dad used to own that, my grandfather used to own that, I used to own that. Running very, very nice. It's a three speed 
need manual transmission as well. Tail lights. Great looking truck. I, I promise you guys the gauges. I'll show you the gauges here. The brand new set of gauges we just ordered. So you're going to replace all of them. Uh, it does have the adapters as well there, the adapter plates, so it will fit. It's a, a Dodge or a Cargo, the same truck.